Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a printable using Microsoft PowerPoint. So printables are anything that you can think of that you've ever used that's been on paper that can be printed. So that could be a sign, it could be a workbook page, it could be a greeting card. There are literally thousands of items that you can print. If you have ever been on Etsy and maybe seen all the different printables there are, they're, they're a very hot seller. There's many, many, many people that make a living off of selling printables on Etsy. And I just started doing this about a year and a half ago, and it's my favorite thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to teach you a little bit about how to make one. Um, I'm going to give like a a quickie course it's not gonna obviously it's not gonna be the full length because that's um, my my printables course on Udemy is nine hours long so this video here is only gonna be a little bit <laughs> compared to that because I just want to give you a brief overview um, of how to do it so if you're familiar with PowerPoint then you recognize the screen and if you're not familiar with it you might even already have it on your computer because it comes installed already on a lot of new computers. And then you would just have to um, start paying for the subscription, which is only like six or seven dollars a month, I think. It, it goes by the year, so I don't remember what it is per month, but it's pretty cheap. It's way cheaper than like Photoshop and uh, InDesign, those are expensive and I've never used those. I, I really like PowerPoint because I feel like it gives me creative control and I'm just used to it. I just, it's easy to learn, I'm very easy to learn. Like I said, in nine hours you can have this down and you can be ready to make your printables to sell. Like within a day you could make a printable and sell it on Etsy. So the, th the first thing, well first I should go back to the screen. This is the screen that you're going to see when you first open up PowerPoint. So uh, you're going to want to go to the new tab right here, or you might see this blank presentation and that's an, also a new one. So I'm going to click on that. And so when you first open this up, you're, you're going to see this click to add title and nine times out of 10, you're going to want to delete that. This is usually if you're going to make a presentation for a meeting, like a slideshow, which we're not doing, we're making things that are, one image it's going to be the picture of whatever your printable is so i'm going to delete all this stuff i'm going to highlight it and then backspace to delete there's a lot of shortcuts that you can do tricks like that but i won't get into those in this video because that's that's what the course is for so the next thing you're going to want to do is select this to turn on save and that's going to save your presentation in OneDrive. And so then you will never lose your, your files. They will always be saved forever. And you can access them even if your hard drive crashes, which has happened to me. <laughs> so I'm glad I do this. You can also save them on your, um, on your computer too, and I'll show you that when I'm finished with this printable. All right, so at the very top here, you see these tabs. We're not gonna use all those tabs for printables because transitions and animations are only for slideshows. And if you're making a video, which we're not doing, we're not going to use slideshow either. So we're pretty much going to work with the insert tab and the design tab, but mostly the insert tab. And the home tab is where we are right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is insert. And then once you click that, you're going to notice all these other things pop up. Now it looks confusing and overwhelming, but trust me, you'll learn these very quickly and you don't need them all. You really only need maybe three or four of these options. So the first one I'm going to go to is pictures here because I want to insert some graphics into my um, printable I'm going to make. I'm going to select the ones I want and insert them. And they're very big. So what I want to do is make them smaller. You can take your mouse and click on the corner and drag it down like that. I also know some shortcuts where I use the shift key and the bottom arrow key. And then I do that and it makes it shorter. So the next thing you're going to realize is that this is not the size of a paper. This is usually what I do first, actually. I'm going to go to design and then I'm going to go to slide size and then custom slide size. So here's where you can change the size to eight and a half by 11 or whatever size you want. I'm going to do eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to do 8.5 in the width 
and then 11 in the height, and then click OK, and the, these are the same. They don't really make a difference. So once you're on the page that you want, the size you want, and you can get your images the right size that you want. That's still too big. I'm just going to make a journal page or something simple here. So then you're probably going to want to put words on the screen. So let's do, oops, let's do some text. So we're in the insert tab again. And then we're going to go over here to text box. And then when you insert a text box, you see this little arrow. And then you just kind of drag your mouse across the page like so. So I'm going to title this journal prompts and then I'm going to make the text bigger. I'm using a shortcut to make it bigger, but you can go over here. Over here is the font section. So you can go over here and slide this up or down wherever you want it. So the next thing I want to do is change the color of this, this font. I want it to match this rainbow a little bit. So I'm going to go to shape form. Actually, wait, what was it again? Okay, I'm clicking on the color. This is the color thing for the, what you what color you want your font to be. I'm going to click on the eyedropper in this case because I want to put my eyedropper on the colors of this rainbow so I can match. So I'm going to click on that and you'll see now this matches that. So another thing I want to do, this is just a side thing here. Up here is where I have my theme colors. I'm just going to change them to my favorite colors. If you're familiar with PowerPoint, you can have themes and you can use the themes that are already in here, or you can make your own themes, which is like some of these I got right here. That's just, that's, I just needed to explain what I was doing there because I like to use my colors. So let's say you want to make a journal prompt and you're going to want to put some text in there. So we're going to go to insert text box. And then, so you might notice that PowerPoint gives little red lines when you're near the edges. It kind of helps you stay in the margins. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. And I want my this font to be black. And I'm going to make it like 14. So this is just a random journal prompt that I'm doing. And so now I kind of want to change this font. I'm going to highlight the text and change it to something else. I really like a body extra light. That's one of my favorite fonts. So what's another fun thing you can do to change up your text a little bit? Well, in here in the font section, you'll notice there's some, there's bold. We can make that bold. You can underline things. This, actually, I'm going to show you this on here. I want to make this have a shadow. That's what this S means, shadow. So now it looks a little, sticks out a little bit. I'm going to go back to this section. So this AV with the arrow here, that makes your letters farther apart from each other. I like using that. I'm going to do loose. And then this A here will be, you can make it all uppercase. I'm going to keep it um, sentence case. All right, so the next thing I want to do, since this is a journal, I'm going to put some lines in it. Now, I have a lot, there's a lot of ways you can make lines. I'm going to show you all of them. Well, two of them at least. So I'm going to go to Insert and then Shapes right here. And then when I click on Shapes, you can see all the pretty shapes that you can put into your printable. So one of these is a line, and I'm going to do Line right here. And then I'm going to hold my shift key down while I drag my mouse across and that makes a straight line. If you hold the shift key down it keeps it straight. So now up here in the shape styles you can change the color of the line. Let's make it purple like like the word up there. Okay so now we're gonna need more than one line. So I'm while that is highlighted see how these dots are on the edge I'm gonna hit control D and that duplicates my line. So I'm going to probably want a couple of them in there. So I'm going to do that a couple more times like this. So they kind of go off to the side a little bit. So in order to align them, I'm going to spread this out a little and put it where I want my lines to end. This is a trick that I teach in my course. And I might be going through kind of fast, but you'll, you'll see what I'm doing. And if, if you're really interested, you can take the course and learn. I go through it a lot slowly, slower. So now once those are all selected, I am going to want to make them 
and align. So I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to go to the arrange thing here and I'm going to click on align left and that moves them all to the left so that they're flush to the left. Now I'm going to click arrange again and then I'm going to go to align again and then I'm going to click on distribute vertically. So that spreads them all out evenly. Now that you've got that, let's say we want to do another journal prompt. And instead of doing all that work again, we can make it easier on ourselves and highlight the whole thing. And then we're going to click Control D to duplicate it and slide it down a good distance from that one. So now I'm going to click off of it so I can click on this. <laughs> and do another journal prompt. So now looking at our journal page here, we got room for one more, but I'm gonna show you a cool thing that we can do here with these lines. I'm gonna duplicate that one. Actually, I didn't need to because it was still, well, actually, yeah, I did. So there we go. I'm gonna duplicate it again. Now, it's the guitar is in the way. What can I do about that? I can go up here to shape format and click send backward. A couple of times and you can see that it went behind the guitar and that's because let me show you this this is everything that is on our page these are all the elements that are on our page and the guitar is picture number six so if you want a picture to be over something else just make sure it's higher on this list Watch what happens if I drag this down to the bottom. Now you'll see that those lines are on top. So we want them to be on top of the lines. That's how, that's one way that you can do that. But now you can see this might look a little funny. You might want to get rid of these, the, the end of these lines here. I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to highlight them all. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click that. And I'm going to drag, oops, I guess you can only do it with one at a time. And make them not touch the guitar. That actually looks better. There we go. So we've got a journal prompt page and that took 10 minutes. Um, of course, you can play around and do other things. You can center things around. You'll notice that what this is another reason why I love PowerPoint. It gives you guidelines and it kind of shows you when things like right there, you'll see that it's the correct distance between the next element. And if you make your text just big enough with that box, then it'll also show you when your text is in the center of the line or the center of the page. But in this case, I'm going to put it off to the side so that there's room for that rainbow. So I'm going to show you, while I got you on the video here, I'm going to show some other cool things that you can do with PowerPoint. I'm going to go to my pictures. And this is another reason why I love creating printables, because there are so many beautiful things that you can create if you're a designer, if you're an artist. You can download these, or even if you're not a designer or an artist, you can become one. Like I never used to, <clears throat> I never used to be into this kind of stuff until I learned PowerPoint and I realized, wow, this is amazing. I'm going to use this one right here. So these um, graphics that I have, I've, I created some of them myself and uh, some of them I have purchased, which I go over in the course. Um, I go over in detail how to uh, purchase things to use in your printables. Uh, so right now what I'm trying to do is get rid of this background. Let me see if this works. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. That's another trick you'll learn in the course if you decide to take it. So I'm going to put this picture in the background of this printable. And I want this to be really, really transparent. So there's a there's a transparency section here. I'm going to click on that and then I can make it be super transparent. I'm going to do that one. But 
it's also on top of my words and my lines. So to make that a little better, uh, while I got this highlighted, I'm going to click Send Backward. I'm going to click it a bunch of times. Actually, I can, I can also click this to see where it is. I'm going to put it on the very bottom just to be safe. <laughs> now, if you scroll in and look at this, you'll see that everything is above that. And I'm kind of happy with the way that looks. This is just something I'm throwing together randomly. And you, you saw how quick I did that. And that's one of the many things that you can learn how to do. And you can do these for yourself. You can make these for you. Um, you if you are, uh, gosh, like a, a coach or a therapist and you have workbooks you want to create with your information to help people, you know, apply the information into their life, um, you can make these yourself. It sure saves a lot of money. Uh, otherwise, you have to go and find one that suits your needs that's you know a, a lot of people might want to make things with just exactly what they want on them like my business is about living a holistic lifestyle so i wanted to make printables to help people do that and so i've made a bunch of print printables i've got like 80 of them now on my on my etsy shop where they will be focused on holistic health so i've you know, I wanted the information that I already had to be in these. So I just made these according to all the information that I have. So if you're a coach, if you're even if you're a homeschooler, you might have information that you want to teach your kids and you can p put it on these pieces of paper and print them out. And there you go. You've got your lessons for your children. It's just the sky's the limit. There's really nobody out there that can't benefit from this because there's everybody out there has something that they use in printable form. You can make, let's say you work at a restaurant, you can print off your own menus. You can create your own menus and print them and laminate them and you don't have to pay another company to do it for you. You can, oh gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Like there's just so many things that you can print. Um, so there you go. <laughs> you watched me make a printable in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to leave a link down below in the description of this video. If you're interested in taking this course, it's on Udemy and they're always running sales. It's usually always like $9. Um, my regular price is, is $79 because it's a lot of information. It's nine hours and that's it's it's literally everything you need to know to learn how to use powerpoint and to put your printables up on etsy i've even got a core a, a lesson on how to list your product on etsy from point a to point b and i also go into using pinterest how to use pinterest to bring traffic to your etsy shop and make more sales i've been bringing a lot of traffic from it from pinterest so it's an all-in-one um training basically on how to start earning money making your own printables and selling them on etsy of course you don't have to sell them if you want to make them just for yourself you can so head on over to udemy and see what they got the price at um last i checked it was nine or ten dollars and they usually run those sales so um hopefully you can get in on that super low price because that is a steal <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you know anybody that likes printables, that has information that they might want to make into their own printables, send this video their way and, and help spread the information. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.